Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Finally, we got FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC working on Power World. This is on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So you can see in the opening area, 50-ish, 60 frames. I've got the mod on, but we still get some ghosting and UI flickering. All right, that could be fixed, I think. All right, I'll show you how to get this working on your Steam Deck later on. Let's just show you some gameplay right now. Yeah, so pretty good. Pretty good. Like a lot of people have been requesting this because yeah, this game's got a lot of buzz right now. You know, everywhere is talking about this game. I haven't really played it. Uh, yeah, but I might like try to dip my toes into this with Wii mod. Stay tuned for that. I'll probably just breeze through it with Wii mod. All right. Stay tuned for that video. Let me show you the settings. Um, options. Okay, graphics. Okay, so preset is set to low. Screen mode windowed, 1280 by 720. Max FPS, no limit. V-Sync on, motion blur on. All right, everything else is on medium. And you can see here, DLSS, it's not, not grayed out. Standard, it's like grayed out on your Steam Deck. But uh, since we've got the mod on, it thinks that we're using an NVIDIA display card. That's why uh, we can toggle this on. But it's not really DLSS. We're actually using FSR 3. Okay, so... Okay, so if you're playing this online, I don't really suggest using this mod. Because, um, you know, it might, like, ban you. It might think you're using a cheat. So, yeah, use at your own risk. If you're playing online, I'm playing offline, so it doesn't really matter for me. Okay, and yeah, I've got um, Steam OS on 3.5.7, the latest stable release as of recording. And I've also got Cry Utilities on, recommended settings. Uh, I think I've got one gigabyte VRAM. So yeah, because I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2, that's why I've got one gigabyte. VRAM. Normally I set it to 4 gigabytes, but yeah, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 lately. Okay. And if you see my um, Steam Dex uh, settings, it's just disabled frame limit on the performance tab. And power tools. Power tools, I've got SMT on, 8 threads, and governor set to performance. Okay. So let me show you how to install this on your Steam Deck. So let's go back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. I'll see you there. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Grown Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Woo! Mmm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking, links in the description. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, you need to locate your game folder. All right, I've got mine right here. You can see games, Power World Early Access. This is the game folder. Inside that game folder, you should have a folder called PAL and then binaries, Win64. This is where we're going to install our mod files, okay? And here is my mod files. So look, FC mods. I've just organized it. I'm using the latest version of the mod as of recording. It's 0.10.1. Okay, and we're using the SDK version. Okay, so open the SDK.zip and extract that to the game folder that I just told you about. PAL, binaries, Win64. Okay, I need to overwrite because I already installed it. Okay, and then... We're going to open the common.zip. Right, we don't need all the files in common.zip. We only need winmm.dll and winmm.ini. Okay, so extract that also. 
Okay, and you don't have this file yet. This fsr2fsr3.config.toml. This doesn't like um, generate until you play the game first. So what we need to do, we need to do something with this config file. All right, so take note of that. Open up your Steam. Go to library. Okay, locate your game. Click the gear icon, properties, and make sure you type this code in the launch options. So wine DOL overrides equals win mm equals native comma built in and then percentage command percentage and then at the end do this the dash dx12 right we need to force the game to run in direct x12 okay i'll leave this in the description so you don't need to type it out you can just copy it okay and then run the game once run the game once first so just play it Make sure everything is working fine. You see the mod window popping up. That's good. Okay, so once you've run the game once, you should get this file that I'll talk to you about. fsr2fsr3.config.toml. That's the file that we need. All right, so I'm just going to quit the game. Okay, that's the file you need. Double click it. Uh, we're going to change this. Make sure it's set to true. Fake NVIDIA GPU. By default, it should be on false. All right. So change it to true. And then also here, AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround. It should be default false. We're going to set it to true. And then just save it. Just save it. Exit out. And then let's run the game again. And you should be able to toggle on that DLSS in the settings. That makes it um work with the fsr3 mod okay so let me just show you let me sh make sure it works okay options graphics all right you can see here dlss yeah this is working so yeah that's how you get it to work guys hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one later